Hi, and welcome to News in Space. I'm KCD. Today, Mars, Saturn, troubles at NASA, and more. The show goes on with the robotic explorers of the red planet, Mars. Recent data from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter provided the detailed information needed to construct a 3D flyover of Victoria Crater and the Mars rover, Opportunity. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter approaches Victoria Crater from the south. Then it flies around the rim in a counterclockwise fashion. Way cool! This is like one of those IMAX simulator rides. Whoa! Oh, I think I'm going to be airsick! Victoria Crater is about 800 meters across, or about half a mile. Where's the rover? There it is! Sunning on the beach! Okay, a beach with no water on it, and it's colder than the South Pole most of the time. To see that video and another over the location of the Spirit rover, you can visit the JPL website's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter page. And in other Mars news, the Mars Express Orbiter discovered that there's enough ice at the red planet's south pole to flood the entire planet in water 11 meters deep. No frozen Martians on the radar though, but lots of ice for slushies. What flavor is the blue one anyway? Speaking of oceans, why don't we take a cruise on a sea of liquid methane? The Cassini space probe recently found an ocean of liquid methane. <coughs> or ethane on Saturn's moon, Titan? Cassini's visual and infrared mapping spectrometer took pictures of large, dark areas thought to be... <coughs> stop it! Liquid... Will you please stop? Liquid. I'll have you know that methane is odorless. What have you been eating? Work progresses on repairs to the space shuttle Atlantis, damaged by hail in February. The repairs to the shuttle's thermal protection system are pretty much complete, and the work of repairing the external fuel tank has started. Originally scheduled for launch on March 15th, the STS-117 mission to the International Space Station is on hold until repairs are completed. Atlantis and its crew have a new truss and huge solar panels for the ISS. Once installed, the International Space Station will be one of the brighter objects in the night sky. One of the ongoing science experiments aboard the ISS is the study of human adaptations to spaceflight. Want to go to space yourself? Have a few hundred thousand dollars lying around the house? Visit the Virgin Galactic website. If you have a couple hundred G notes and want zero G, billionaire Sir Richard Branson has the ticket for you. Sign up for the ride of your life with Virgin Galactic. Of course, there's also this waiver to sign. <laughs> oh, come on. You know you wanna. It'll be fun. Branson plans the first suborbital flights in 2009. He looks forward to orbital flights further into the future. Do you know of an interesting website or have a great picture related to space or astronomy? Send it to us. We want to see. Well, that's it for this installment of News in Space. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.